Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. Um, <clears throat> this is actually a follow-up to the post I did last night. So, last night, uh, you guys saw, because um, I know that a lot of you guys were talking about it and have been passing around the link, which is cool, but I want to talk about the one I actually was talking about last night. And what I was talking about last night was, um, for those who have not watched and are watching this now, um, we talked about how uh, the parts count and the dissection of the parts for uh, the Spartan in the uh, Robotech RPG Tactics game is completely ridiculous. And the, the, the bisection of the legs is just nuts and everything else. Well, here's the thing. I went off on a huge rant. Um, I better first off say that I had a bad day. I mean, I had to deal with a car fire. Um, I'm guessing you guys can still probably hear in my voice because I can still feel it in my friggin' throat and my lungs. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I had to deal with this, uh, this car that caught on fire and I inhaled a lot of smoke off of it. I haven't been feeling good since. Um, I literally came home and crashed. Um, not crashed my car. I mean, I came home and I, I crashed in bed. So you guys don't think I crashed the car. That'd be weird. Okay, but seriously, spe uh, uh, speaking of that... Um, so I dealt with that, and, um, you know, then I, I had to read this news of, oh, by the way, you know, we're kind of justifying the parts count, and we're not going to do anything about it, and I was kind of like, well, there's got to be a way to make the parts count smaller, it, just, it seems ridiculous. It, now, to, to take all this, and I've been talking to a lot of people since then, I've been talking to a lot of people all morning, I talked to a lot of people till like, 3 a.m., it was, it was crazy, I've been talking to people about, miniatures and casting and everything else because I have to admit my knowledge of actually how things are cast is a little bit limited I know the basics I know kind of how, how molds work and stuff like that but it's a kid and you know how positive is made and how negative is made and I know that but it's a case of um, to me the parts count of 20 some odd pieces 30 some odd pieces to, to make a, a mini that's the same size as pretty much every other mini doesn't doesn't sit right. It's not. It's not going for me. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is, one, maybe I I, I overshot and I overshot on my reaction. Um, I was also a little bit peeved because I'm I'm looking at going. Well, I'm gonna get burned again. Um, regarding where I sit. So I was looking at the, um, the uh, the giveaway models. Which I have to admit I haven't actually touched yet. And the reason I haven't touched them is because my skill as a painter is not there yet. And I was like, you know, I really want to get my skills better before I start trying to tackle, you know, these figures. And I did a count. And the Miria Perino figure um, comes out to 15 pieces. Okay, so there's 15 little fiddly bits that I'll have to link together to make a mini in this thing. I misremembered I was thinking it was something like six and I was incorrect now I am I am including the little um, jet swoop that kind of acts as part of the stand but I'm not counting the base so because I figured the base is sort of a gimme um, the the max figure is almost about as much uh, it's a little bit less but it's still a fair number of bits in here that yeah, I'm sure you guys can see um, you know, we got the back here, so there's one, the swoop, the leg, another leg, so we're up to four, both arms, uh, the upper arm for, uh, the other part, so the arm is split into two things. You know, it's kind of like, I, again, I'm looking at it going, well, why did you have to split the arm into two sections? You know, I don't quite get it, but, you know, again, it's a case of, I was talking to people and they're telling me, well, you know, there's this reason, there's that reason. And the reasons are various. So here's how I'm going to actually stand on this because I'm definitely going to be wary from now on about Kickstarter. Um, I, I'm, I'm very concerned about um, backing projects where it's going to be multiple people, multiple people involved. I think it's a case of if it's going to be a company 
or a company producing for another company, but they're the ones in charge, aka I have this game, but it's been licensed to so-and-so, and so-and-so is doing all the production stuff, and they're going to handle all the production stuff. I think I can go for that a little bit more than one of these joint ventures of it's going to be so-and-so and so-and-so, and they're both going to be working together to make this thing happen. Um, so I'm thinking there's that. Um, am I still interested in getting a refund? I'm actually going to hold off until I see the Valkyries. Once they actually publish pictures of how the Valkyries are going to look in the end, what the parts count are, and how they're all going to assemble, I think that's when I'm going to finally make my decision on where I'm going to sit. Because I looked at the... Um, the pods on the sprue that they showed on their page. And it's, I, I can't say it was reassuring, but I can't say it was unreassuring either. The legs are at least all one section, which is nice, but I'm really concerned about them being too flimsy, especially for tabletop use. That's my concern. My concern is, is that we have models with hollow innards, because I'm used to things that are solid. I'm very used to it's a solid resin cast, it's a solid metal cast, it's a solid plastic cast. Um, I, I'm very hard pressed to think of anything that I put together where I know it's hollow in the middle. It's generally, it's a solid lump locking onto another solid lump. And knowing that there's gaps in between, it, it, it makes me concerned because then you have points of leverage and points of wear and things can kind of shift and grind and then things fall apart, and then you have to repair it, and I really just don't have the time to sit there and build, and then have to keep, like, touching it up and keep repairing it. That's not what I'm in for. I'd rather build it, prime it, paint it, table it. That's what I want to do. That's what, that's my, that's my progress. And honestly, I don't want to spend so much time on the first three steps. I really want to just kind of get it to the table, because I'm buying the Mini to play with the Mini. I'm buying it so I can use it. Not so I can, like, sit there and paint it over and over and over. Um, with regards to the Robotech stuff, I am more inclined to spend more time. Because I do have that sort of attachment to the IP. And because I have that attachment to the IP, I really do want to make them look good. Now, also because, as you guys know from previous posts, I'm very hell-bent on... Once these things are in my possession, I really wanted to put them on display. I really wanted to do some bat reps. I really wanted to talk about it. I really wanted to, to, to really just, you know, dive headfirst into Robotech. And I feel like now that's not really going to be an option. I feel like it's going to be a case of, I'm going to get this huge wave of stuff. And remember, they're breaking it down into waves. Originally, it was going to be one lump, th lump sum. It was all going to be received on December of uh, last year. Obviously, that's not going to happen. And now the new thing is, okay, well, are they going to make it before they actually release it to the public? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't have an answer. But with all this that's going on, and the reactions are varied, they are um, very impassioned and very uh, uh, very polarized, um, almost politically polarized. I think at this point, what I'd like to do is this. I realize I have said th some things that probably you know, overshot a little bit. But what I want to say is this. I think that this is an excellent opportunity for the staff from Palladium, Ninja Division, and everyone else who's involved in this project. If you guys want to come on, I am willing to hear and talk to you guys and, and, and let you guys vent and air everything. So that either people know whether or not they really want to stay committed to this. Because I think what's happening now is there's this real polarization of the two factions of, of the backers. You have people who are really feeling like they're getting ripped off. And you have people who are feeling like, oh yeah, this is going to be fine. And everything's going to work out great. And I think what's going to happen is, is that you're going to wind up with a lot of bad PR on the, over on the overall. That's going to say... That uh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt the the idea of any future progress on this project or doing the other two generations in the future. Now, I know there's also a lot of talk about scaling and there's all that. We can definitely talk about that if you guys want to come on and talk about it. 
I want to give you guys a fair shot. I want to give you guys an open forum to discuss, air, and explain. Because personally, I would love to know why things are turning out the way they are. Um, I understand delays are kind of part of Kickstarter. You know, unforeseen things happen, certain things aren't working out quite the way they w you thought they would. Things come out too thin, things come out too thick. The You know, you have to change who's going to actually do the production because somebody folds, somebody bails on you. I've read tons of, you know, reports of people going from one extreme to the other. I think at this point, if you guys want to come on, I really want to actually... I really do want to continue with this. It's really funny. Even when I wanted to pull out and I wanted to get my refund, I don't want it to fail. Okay, um, I, I do feel like I, I do feel like I was misrepresented what was going to happen here. Um, I also feel that also I was betrayed by my own memory because I was expecting you know I, I was thinking that the parts were less, but they're not. Um, but I think that there, some of the ways that they're cut could be better. I'm also wondering if there's, you know, with all the feedback that they're getting and all the all the negativity that they're getting, does, uh, do you guys want to actually um, change how you're going to produce the, the next line of figures? You know, are you going to simplify them? Are you going to continue just the way it is? Are you going to make it even more intricate? I don't know. And honestly, I'd like to hear what you guys say and what the plans are because... I don't think that everything is so far gone that we can't bring it back. You know, there are tons of us who really want to see this. We want to see it brought to completion. We want to see Palladium succeed. We want to see Ninja Division succeed. We want to see the game actually catch on. We want to see this addition to, for a lot of us, our childhoods, continue to thrive and continue to branch out. Um... So I'm hoping that you guys will actually take me up on my offer. You guys will come on. We can talk all about it. We can do a, a Google Hangout or whatever. And if you guys even just want to send a video explaining, we you know we'll take whatever we can get. And we, let's talk about this. Let's figure this out. Let's see what's going on. And let's have all air, all grievances aired. Once I know that you guys are coming, um, or you guys let me know that you have interest in coming on, contact me. We will arrange it. We will make it so that people can get their questions in so that everybody can actually ask you guys directly what's going on and there's no confusion. It's a case of everybody can say what they need to be said. Everyone can be heard. Everyone can feel like they're being valued because that's one of the other grievances I'm reading all over the place is that Palladium doesn't care. That they're just going to do whatever they're going to do. They don't care what it, what the, uh, the fans say. They don't care what the backers say. It's all about them. And... I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think that they're getting a lot of input, a lot of varied input, and it's coming in at a deluge pace. I mean, it's like a tidal wave. And it's more than you can guys than you can handle, you know? I think it's more than you guys can process in a timely manner. I think it's more than you can react to in a timely manner. Let's see what we can do about opening up those channels of communication. Let's see what we can do about making everyone feel included. So I'm going to say, as a statement for now, uh, I'm going to stick with the Robotech project. Um, I'm not necessarily happy, but I'm willing to at least stick it out until I see what the actual Valkyries fully look like and what everything else is going to kind of look like for the first wave. Once I see that, then I think that's going to be a case of, I'll, I'll decide where I stand. Um, but again, you know, Kevin, uh, Jeff... Uh, Tom, everybody else, everyone who wants to come on and talk about this, let's do this. Let's actually have a conversation about the Robotech Kickstarter. Let's see what's going on, and let's see what we can fix. So, uh, this is my kind of open letter, I guess is what it turned into, really, isn't it? Uh, to uh, Palladium and Ninja Division, uh, I guess this is me signing out.